channel. So today's video is my September BoxyCharm unboxing. And I did already open it just to see what products we did receive so I know not to apply it to my face um, beforehand. And yeah, so before we get right into the unboxing and the try-on, um, if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a $21 a month beauty subscription site where you get about four to five full-size products. And um, I do have a link down below with a referral code. You don't have to use it. It is there for you if you want to try it out. Um, I totally recommend BoxyCharm. It is the only beauty subscription site I am currently subscribed to. I unsubscribed to the others um, just because I just didn't feel like they were totally worth it. Um, but yeah. So without further ado, let's just get right into the unboxing. Okay, so it did come with some bubble wrap, but my sons took that out and, um, you know, popped it. But the first thing in the box is the little card that has all the information and the products and stuff on it. But this month's theme is BoxyCharm All Access. And then you just have the products, the description, and the prices. And yeah, so let's see. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go in the order that I usually do like my makeup. Um, and I know we did get a brow product. Um, and this is the Billion Dollar Brows, the Micro Blade Effect Brow Pen. And I got the shade Dark. So that's what this looks like. And if you can see, that's the tip. So it's supposed to like, I guess give you like hair light strokes, like if you got um, microbladed. Um, I've never used one of these, so I'm kind of scared like how it's gonna apply. Let me get my spoolie ready just in case. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and I will be right back and let you know what I think. So I've only done one brow and I just want to say I really don't like this. I think because I don't know how to apply it, um, it just dries down really hard. Like I don't know if you can see right here how it's kind of patchy in the front. Um, I'm trying to like fade it out with the spoolie. It's not working and I'm doing really light feather motions like if you can see it really doesn't come out much so you have to kind of press just a little bit but even doing that it dries so fast and it's um once it's there it's kind of there um so it might not be a bad product it's just i don't know how to work with it um but i'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow obviously so it, they're the same you know um but yeah and i think i forgot to tell you how much this is um, this retails for $18 and again, it might just be, I don't know how to use it. So I don't want to give it like a really bad review, but from my experience, it's just not working for me. Like I just don't like it. Okay. So I finally finished the brows. Um, the next thing in the box that I'm going to take out is this Dr. Brandt Hydro Bi Biotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. And this retails for $52. Um, so I am going to apply this at the end of the video, like when I wash off the, make the makeup. And I am going to try it out. Um, and I will keep you all updated on my Insta story. So again, if you're not following me on Instagram, um, I will have that link down below as well. The next thing in the box is by Violet Voss. And this is the Essentials Eyeshadow Palette. This is my first Violet Boss product, um, but just look how stunning this palette is. You get five mattes, five shimmers, and this screen right here is really, really 
calling my name, so I actually might use that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the eye look and then I'll be right back and let you know what I think. But to go with the palette, we did get some brushes in this month's box and this is by Moda. And this is a five piece brush kit, which retails for $27.95. And I have a few Moda brushes um, and I really like them. Um, so let me see. So you get five brushes and then you just get a light, like a uh, angled liner brush, which feels really nice. They all feel so soft and nice. So like I said, I'm going to speed through the eye look and I'll be right back and let you know what I think and how they blend. Okay, so I just realized that I was not recording the eyeshadow process so i pretty much pretty much did the full eye look except for like my lid shade and stuff but i'm just gonna run through what i did so i started off with sand as my transition shade then i took a little bit of terracotta and placed that a little lower than the transition shade then in my crease on the detail brush i applied cinnamon and that's just to give us some more definition then I applied black to the outer corners and then I blended all of that with a little bit more of terracotta and now I just cut out my lid um, and now for my lid shade I'm gonna apply emerald um, just because I really 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 like this color so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and apply on my lid. Last thing in the box is by Hank and Henry, and this is the Blickety Black Eyeliner, and this retails for $20, and the packaging is so nice. It's really like, it's not heavy, but it's not lightweight. Um, it feels really nice. So I got the shade, oh, Blickety Black. <laughs> um, so I'm not really a huge fan of like the felt tip, not the felt tip, the um, brush tip liners are like in this form, um, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. really nice tip like to get a really nice point but I don't know if it's just like over shimmer eyeshadow it just doesn't show up super dark like it's not as dark like you can see let me get closer you can still see the shadow through it um and you kind of have to press a little hard for it to come out which is not really a big deal but um I don't really see myself using it a lot. Maybe if I just want like a quick natural, you know, um, line across the eye, I think it'll work for that, but not for like a dark wing liner, you know? Um, but yeah, so this is the completed makeup look using the September BoxyCharm products. Um, my total retail value of the box came out to $146.95 which is always so amazing to me like how expensive it is for you only paying $21 a month and again I think it is totally worth it um, you get to try out brands you've never considered trying out because of the price or something um, and you find new brands that you actually really like. Um, but yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and try this tonight. Um, I'm gonna try to use it for about a week and then I will 
post on my Insta stories what I think of it um, because obviously one or two uses isn't really gonna make a big difference. Um, but yeah, what I can say is I really like the eyeshadow palette. Um, the black wasn't as dark as I liked, but I kind of like that, um, if that makes sense. Like, um, it's easy to build up so it doesn't go on too intensely. Um, I liked the brushes. I love Moda brushes. Um, the eyeliner was okay. I think it'll be nice for like the um, no makeup makeup looks, like for a really thin black line on the lid. Um, I didn't like the brow pencil though. Um, I think because I just don't know how to use it. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed this month's box. And again, I do have a link down below if you want to check it out and try it out for yourself. It is totally worth it. Um, but yeah, that concludes today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. I would love to have you. Um, but yeah, and I will see you all in my next one.